Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Robert Devan, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 366 Can You Win? It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. Can you win? How's everybody doing this week? I hope you're all good. Uh, yeah, it's a remote recording of this episode. And I'm wearing a jacket that makes noise again. Listen, did you get that? So apologies. If there's any background noise, there's a little bit of traffic, there's a little bit of people going by. I know I don't even need to say these things to you guys, but it's easier to record these episodes guerrilla style. Um, I, I'm not into the illusion of everything is perfect and having a perfect life because... When you're chasing success, that's not what it looks like. People that are very successful, you know, they grind it out. Their lives aren't what you think they are based on the heavily curated Facebook, Instagram, social media posts. You know, rich people get flat tires and inevitably get out, roll the sleeves up and fix it themselves. It's it's not all servants and, and grandeur and you should never lose that ability of being able to fend for yourself, being able to fight and scrape and claw your 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 way to the next level. I am absolutely going off topic, but I was still a still a good point that one. Anyway, yeah. Can you win? My kids are doing a lot of different sports at the moment. They're very young, but I'm trying to instill in them early the ability to be able to win. Not so much the physical ability, that's that's really important, but I'm trying to help them to remove the locked handbrake. I'm trying to get them to remove themselves as an enemy to themselves. And... You know, one of the reasons why I have the benefit of being able to, you know, talk talk to my kids in a certain way is because I've been around so many adults that do this to themselves and adults aren't as receptive. But I know you're listening to this episode, so you absolutely are if you're a regular listener to the Success Sensei podcast, and that is get out of your own way. Can you win? Well, if you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. There's various quotes saying the, the same thing. If you if you believe you can do something, you believe you can't do something, you're right. Or you are you are inevitably going to prove yourself right. Can you win? I'm suggesting of course you can. I'm suggesting that if there's something that you really want, get out of your own way and believe you can win. See yourself winning and go and win. I'm not saying that the win isn't going to be easy or without hardship or without obstacles or, you know, without a few minor setbacks. Notice I didn't say fails, but even if we use the word fails, maybe you have to fail a couple of times to get the win. But when you're when you zoom out and you're looking at the bigger picture and your mind is on the bigger picture those setbacks, you're prepared to to meet those setbacks, learn from them to get the win. So say in martial arts, for example, as you know, a lot of, a lot of my experience and my coaching experience comes from martial arts. But w- when you're fighting in, in a karate tournament or an amateur kickboxing tournament, you could potentially have eight different opponents if you are intending to win. Now what happens is you go into a competition like that. It's not just one opponent. Professional kickboxing and knockout and MMA. You, you've generally got one opponent. But at, at amateur level. And that includes world level. If you look at the Olympics. You have several opponents. 
that you have to um, compete against to get to the finals. It's not just it's not just one person. It's several people. So when you're at these kind of competitions, Olympic level, amateur level, local level, world level, whatever, when you see everybody that you have to potentially beat in order to win, it is very overwhelming. And because everybody looks good, everybody is the best from their region or from their club, everybody looks great warming up, everybody looks brilliant when they're fresh, it's enough to put self-doubt into absolutely anybody. And the reason why you're overwhelmed is because you're imagining you have to beat every single, you know, every single person as if it's in one go. But all you have to realize is that you have the ability to beat one person at a time. Any person that steps, one person, any person that steps in front of you, you have to acknowledge that you have the ability to beat them. If you can't even acknowledge that to yourself, you have absolutely zero chance of winning. Now, the same goes for life. It goes for your goals. It goes for your missions. If you can't give yourself the best chance to succeed and to win, then it's not your circumstance. It's not your physical ability. It's your own mental conditioning that's holding you back. You have to see that you absolutely have a chance to win and that you can win and that you deserve to win, which is another podcast in and of itself. But you have to believe that you can win. Now, obviously, the better you can increase your chances, the the, the better you can increase your statistics to be able to win, the stronger your self-belief, your self-confidence, your focus, your discipline, your conditioning, your preparation, all of those things get stronger when you see that you can win. Maybe you need to use visualization to see yourself succeeding and achieving what it is you're setting out to do. And we could be talking about anything in life. I'm not just talking about sports or fighting. We're talking about absolutely anything that you want to win. And that includes winning at life. Maybe the visualization will help you if you can see the end goal. Maybe writing down um, how you imagine things will be in your life if you succeed. Maybe you need to be around or actively seek out people that have achieved what it is you're hoping to set out to achieve. Like-minded people, in other words. Um, When you're around other people who have a winning mentality, it's easier to develop your own winning te- mentality. There's so m- many people that have all the talent in the world, but they're crushed by their own limiting beliefs. You can win. You have to believe that you can win. You have to see that you can win in your mind. You have to feel deserving to win. You have to do all the preparation needed to win. And then all you have to do is step forward and win. If you don't win, you look at things, you figure out what you did right, what you did wrong. Like a, like a scientist, not in an emotional way that, that tears you down and makes you give up, but more in a scientific way um, in order to you know, figure out you know, what, what is it that's going to work if I do it more and what, what didn't work for me that I need to cut out? Plain and simple. Just keep increasing your statistics, in, increase tailoring your your training, increase your mental belief and your your physical ability. And you, abs- you can't deny that if you do any of these things, you will be in a higher position than you are now. You will be in a better position than you are now. You will be closer to whatever it is that you're attaining. Um, even if you don't win an Olympic gold medal, you'll be a hell of a lot closer to, you know, your desired outcome than if you hadn't have done it. So it makes sense to just believe in yourself, believe that you, you, you can win, get out of your own way, take that handbrake off. If you're going to do something, fully do it. None of this half doing it so that if you fail, you've already got a built-in excuse of, ah, 
well I didn't really try hard enough so that's why I didn't succeed that's useless that's useless nobody cares so that's useless to yourself it's lying to yourself that's setting yourself up for for failure you have to be hungry you have to ruthlessly go after what you want I mean things are hard life is hard there's many obstacles if it was easy everybody would be succeeding and winning and they're not because it's not easy so it's whoever wants it enough whoever is prepared to you know make whatever sacrifices are needed in order to to win whoever believes in themselves the most whoever wants it the most is the most likely to succeed and to keep succeeding and the fact of the matter is we all want more success in our lives in every area who doesn't want a bit more success a bit more winning a bit more happiness in in everything in everything who doesn't want more acknowledgement who doesn't want more love more happiness more money more you know and a larger legacy more achievements more of an output in, in creativity we all it's never ending the goalposts continue to be moved so make sure that your self-belief matches your your goals otherwise all that you do is you build up your own resentment and your own jealousy and your own feelings of inadequacy um and sure none of those are none of those are good things are they really so you know, believe in yourself you can win if you're if you're going to do something half-assed well is there a point in doing it at all i i don't reckon there is i reckon you can do more harm to yourself by doing something half-assed you know imagine imagine jumping for over over from one obstacle to another imagine and not fully believing it and half doing the jump and falling down in between and injuring yourself and breaking your leg what was the just don't do the jump if you don't believe you can make it just just don't do the jump now that's a metaphorical jump so that goes for anything that you do imagine half doing something you end up doing more more harm to yourself again just just you know a quick reference to fighting if you're going to attack somebody if you're going to launch a technique a launch attack and you half ass doing it what do you think is going to happen you just you absolutely run into a punch or a kick and you end up getting more hurt and then you, now you're afraid to attack and in uh, again and therefore you have greatly reduced your ability to be able to win that fight so if you're going to attack you attack 100% ruthlessly not thinking about failing not thinking about not winning you absolutely go for it and when you when you're going after your goals or you're going after you know something you want to experience or something that you want to attain or something that you um want to do or something that you want to win you've you've got to go at it like an absolute animal like a savage and people aren't being told that People aren't being told that you're allowed to be a different version of yourself. That when it comes to competing, you have to stick on the switch. You have to be a savage. But people aren't being told that. It's maybe it's not politically correct. So there's kids being brought up, being told that, ah, you know, it's taking part that counts. And they're up against kids that are being told to be absolute hungry savages and, and go out and get the win. Um, and they say, oh, you know, it's about, it's about having fun. Yeah. And no, it absolutely is. But when you're up against kids that realise that winning is even more having fun than just taking part, you know, people who are are only half committed are at a major disadvantage. You're, you're only you're only making up numbers. You're, you've reduced your ability to to succeed. You can ruthlessly aim to win and still have enjoyment. You know, competition is is competition competition is fierce in every single arena in every sport in every business um, endeavor and just just it's you know just humanity is very competitive it doesn't mean that you have to be a mean person it just means when it's time to compete it's time to compete you can have the switch off all of the rest of the time and be a nice normal non-competitive person but when it's time to go after something that you want to win you have to allow yourself to be a completely different person you have to be the most laser focused person 
that you can be. I hope that's helped. I hope it's given you something to think about. I hope it's given you a bit of motivation this week. What, are, what is it that you want to win? Message me anytime. Thank you for listening. I'm Robert Van, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei. Fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.